when I see the camera, I forget that. <laughs> I know. I know. That's, yeah, now I know Christmas. Image editing often involves enhancing the subject while de-emphasizing the distracting background. Saliency estimation is a useful tool to measure emphasis. And recent approaches have achieved successful image enhancement or subtractor suppression using the saliency models. However, saliency estimation is only trained on real images. This makes it unreliable when presented with edited images. And as a result, prior methods suffer from unrealistic edits. To address this issue, we propose a new solution, incorporating an explicit realism loss for saliency-guided image enhancement. Our approach involves training a realism network only on extremely edited images. Our network can estimate continuous measure of realism for various images and scenes. We show that our results display a high level of realism while effectively enhancing the subjects or suppressing the distracting regions. Our model requires less memory and offers a fast processing time, making it a practical tool to use. I don't know if I smile too soon. <laughs> Earlier methods in the field typically relied on factors that captured humans' attention to develop their methods. For example, they considered camouflaging an object to reduce the attention or using the highly saturated vivid colors to increase the attention. However, as shown by the blue giraffe or the pink caterpillar, using these cues can cause highly unrealistic results. More recent approaches have adopted using visual saliency estimation models. These models are trained on eye gaze tracking data and estimate an attention heat map, which highlight the areas a human gaze would focus. Using them, the image editing process can be guided to modify the image to change the estimation attention. However, these models can predict a change in attention when an unrealistic edit like the pink purse or the green woman are applied. This is because these models are not trained on edited images and are unreliable when edits are applied to the images. As a result, relying on these models as the only supervision can cause realism issues. Previous works attempt to solve this issue by using regularization terms or adversarial training. However, these models either limit their effectiveness or fail to generate natural images. These issues can be addressed by using a more structured and explicit definition of realism. Our proposal involves training a network that estimates a realism score for an edited image. Constructing a comprehensive dataset to train such network is expensive and time-consuming. Nonetheless, generating extreme real and fake edits is intuitive. For example, excessive exposure changes to an image often results in unrealistic images or a subtle change to saturation has minimal impact on the image realism. In the top figure, we vary the parameter for exposure from 0 to 2 while plotting the estimated realism score from our model. In the bottom, we do the same for saturation. Despite training only on binary data, our model generates continuous measure of realism for varying edits. Additionally, it is important to note that the sweet spot of the curves, which represents where realism diminishes, varies for different images and edit operations. We then develop our saliency-guided image editing pipeline using commonly used image editing operations. We enforce realism by using our novel realism network. Here are the results generated by our method compared to the state of the art. Our method applies a diverse range of edits, from applying a significant color change that camouflages the objects to a very subtle change to human faces. The intensity and the characteristics of the applied edit depends on the semantics of the selected objects and its surroundings. The competing methods deep cell and gaze shift often apply unrealistic edits without considering the semantics. For example, deep cell camouflage the sign in this figure while gaze shift is generating color artifacts and a natural color tone for human faces. Our model only modifies the selected region and performs a forward pass efficiently. As a result, we can run it on multiple image segments iteratively. The same iterative approach wouldn't apply to gaze shift. This is due to the conflicting objective between different iterations in gaze shift, as this model edits the whole image at each iteration. Additionally, we showcase our results on videos. We apply the same edit estimated for the first frame across the entire video to ensure consistency. 
Results show that our image editing model learns to create vivid colors and brighter regions to attract attention. On the other hand, the saliency suppression results often show low saturation and darker colors. Editing human skin and face is a challenging task. Our method, benefiting from our novel realism loss, is able to estimate edits that result in natural colors for humans. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs>